Uh, welcome back. It's uh, a beautiful Sunday morning. It is so bright out here. I'm probably overexposed, but uh, it'll be a perfect opportunity to go down in the north or the north pasture, the north forest stand. I've got some logs, some big stuff that, that I took down there the last couple of years. I just haven't been able to deal with it because I didn't have access to a tractor. So we're gonna drop the bucket today and load up the big brush grapple and go try it out. Haven't really tried that out too much and see how it goes. Uh, I've got some, some big stuff down there. We'll move it around, get it staged uh, for sawmilling because we got a big sawmilling project come up as soon as the weather breaks. So settle in, see, tighten your seat belts and uh, let's all head on down. These are the quick attach arms here that lock the bucket into place and everything's new and settling in and they're a little bit loose so they fall da down. So we'll just, just gonna jam that on there. Tighten that up just so it holds, but it's not difficult to operate. We need it to hold in an upright position. Whenever you want a nut on to something to really stay and not back off, a jam nut like that, a double nut is a great way to do it. It locks. There, perfect. several logs that I, that I took down this uh, last summer uh, and I was uh, I started this one here I started to mill it in place and uh, I took a few slabs off of it but now with the tractor and the super grappler we'll be able to bring these up to the sawmill and not have to mill them in place anymore so what I'm doing is uh, before the snow gets any deeper if it does I mean, you just never know I want to get these uh, kind of uh, decked up where well, I can still travel down here and, and we'll uh, get up there and, and for some milling because I have a big milling project uh, to do as soon as, uh, as soon as the snow clears out or who knows whenever as soon as we can we might I got a snow plow coming so I might um, have to just play plow a big area you know like the half the size of a football field and push the snow out and mill anyway so I'm going to cut this to uh, 
Uh, I've already got, it looks like about a 10 foot length right there, eight or 10 feet. And then we'll take it over there and move some of those logs around and get them all ready to go. So let's do it. So it's about 14, 15 degrees today. We'll see how good the saw starts. Usually it's in four poles. So for all the professional loggers in the comments who told me I didn't need a 32 inch bar, this isn't the East Coast. This is the West Coast.
So these big logs here, I decked up a year or two, a couple years ago, I guess it was. I put them in a burn pile. Uh, I tried to get them burning. They were green when I cut them, uh, and they wouldn't. They wouldn't take. They just the whole pile burnt down, and they were left behind. A little char on the outside. So I was thinking about that the other night. I thought, boy, they're really pretty. They're very old and they're gnarled, and they've got some burls in them. Um, let's maybe we'll mill them. Mill them and see. I, it's they're kind of short. They're shorter than I remember for dimensional lumber or for timbers but they might make a really cool tabletop or, or something like that. You know, you never know, but uh, oh, we'll sit them down here and let the snow clear out. And uh, if we get a spare moment, maybe we'll run some slabs off of them and um, see how they look. So this brush attachment really works good for this type of thing. I, I was, was interested to see how much power it would have and, and how big of a material it could move around, but uh, it just handled that with ease. It's really going to be nice for, for brushing things up and moving piles around and that. You know, that's something that we've done for hand for by hand for five years. And it's been a, it's a lot of labor. I could do in an hour with this what it would take me a day or two um, by hand. So it, it's, it's really wonderful. This is a powerful tractor. You know, don't be fooled by the size of it. It is compact. But, uh, you, know, it, you know what it reminds me of? I had a dream about it the other night. You know, I'm a big Star Trek fan. I like to watch The Next Generation, and I watch Deep Space Nine a little bit, but... They, remember the ship? Those of you who watch Deep Space Nine, that, uh, what was it? The USS, it was the Defiant. It was a really compact little ship, and it had, it was really powerful, and lots of armaments, and really fast, and, you know, in this, in this really tight little, you know, it just reminds me of that, so... Maybe that should be the name, Defiant? <laughs> some some people uh, in the comments said, "What are you going to name the tractor?" You know, you name all your saws and you name things all the time around. And we do. We kind of have a custom of doing that. Um, I'll leave it up in the comments. Uh, what do you think we should name the red tractor? Uh, put your name in the comment, and and we'll uh, look at it with the family, with Mrs. W and um, and Jack, and we'll we'll pick one and uh, give you an honorable mention. Maybe we can even get a. A vinyl decal on the side there. That'd be that there. Would be nice, wouldn't it? That would be really nice. All right. Well, I, I got I got work to do. I uh, just wanted to bring you along and share this with you, um, uh, and just to kind of see together how the how the brush grapple worked. And I I'm really pleased. It really works great. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video.